Guys, look at this here. It's a big day for us. We're about to go in. This will be Zara's last breeding. We're gonna get as much education information as we can of the doctor continue to help you guys better your dogs. Like, subscribe, share. We'll talk a little bit about the importance or the power of uh, the x-ray versus the um, ultrasound. And then we'll see if, what the verdict is. Hey, is she pregnant? I'm sure she's uh, preguntas, no questions. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Wish us luck. Right through these double doors. How is she doing? She's right. I mean, she, she looks good. Y'all could help us get her. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Relax. Good. 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 Lower that part. Lower. Oh. Do not mean to just get me screaming. I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Big stubborn today. Getting there. I'm getting there. That's all right. <laughs> okay. So here's the baby. Here's the baby. Uh, C section or nothing. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so we we did a nice little test on baby girl here today and she uh you know it's been confirmed she's pregnant. This is her last litter. She's a dog that I believed in since day one. 2019, one of the most important puzzle pieces to building my puzzle and the pieces and to allow me to keep teaching and showing and getting you guys to believe in what you're trying to achieve in life, be it dogs, business, and anything else. Let me be very clear in saying, normally at Josie, um, we deal with a doctor that I really enjoy. She does a very good job of participating in my antics as I ask quite a few questions and just make sure you guys get a good view from a doctor's perspective. I don't normally do the ultrasounds. I actually set it up to do it um, for the purposes of teaching. And this particular doctor, no disrespect to her, uh, she didn't really ask any questions. She did what she did and she's like, hey, congratulations, and walked out. <laughs> Not used to that. Dr. Barnett, to be clear, she would have been like, hey, you know, and I was like, hey, I only got a couple questions, um, but this particular doctor, she didn't want to participate. And you could tell, you could feel the energy. But she did show us. I don't like that she didn't even check the other side. Uh, it seems as if she was kind of annoyed. Uh, oh, normally the dogs come in sooner, such and such. So I'm saying all that to say, for one, find you a good reproductive vet. Very important. Two, I made sure <laughs> when we do our C-section, uh, that Dr. Barnett is a doctor who we're going to use. Three, don't be afraid to speak up. Now, mind you, this was me putting $100 in. I don't pay for I don't do uh, 
what is it the the ultrasounds much anymore i know when my females are pregnant i have a good sense of it i know uh we have a baby doppler i'm sure to use at some point but um i want to do it to teach and i didn't even get a chance to x-rays come a little bit later so you can know exactly how much how many are in there we'll do an x-ray as well i'll try to schedule that with dr barnett to be clear it's more money but it gives us a perspective on what can be sold and then um if everything goes right we'll have my pregnant too progesterone tests matter people uh, x-rays matter in my opinion ultrasounds they they confirm to a degree but I'm actually show you guys how to test something else. Now that I know beyond a reasonable doubt she's pregnant, <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, superstitious at times. And I'm not like normally like that. I'll cross a pole, but there is a pregnancy test that Target sells and Ruben's tested it. And I believe there's a protein marker in it or something that it has that lets you know if the female's pregnant. So I'm gonna use it on Zara and have Ruben break it down on another video. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Run your they give us a pamphlet basically and it's a mock-up on everything that um that needs to go on over the the next nine weeks july 15th or 17th 16th or 17th 14th one of them day not july i'm tripping january january is when the pups will be due so we'll do a c-section and we'll go into the lab for eight solid weeks of pure chaos January, February, March. Goodness, it's gonna be a hell of a time. Thank you guys for watching.